One of the most difficult things developers have to deal with is time. They're using our own satellites against us. And the clock is ticking. JavaScript developers have it especially bad, and one thing that you might want to do when building a website is show a relative time format like tomorrow, yesterday, five days ago, 84 years ago, and so on. Now, there are libraries like Moment.js that can do this for you, but they're entirely unnecessary because you can do it natively in JavaScript with the internationalization API. Check this out. If you know the difference between two dates, you can create a relative time formatter that first requires a locale language, then can format a human-friendly string. It takes two arguments, the first one being a number for the difference, and the second one being the interval that you want to display, like minutes, days, years, and so on. And because this is the internationalization API, you can easily change the language of the output. In the real world, you might have a date in the past, like when a blog post was published, which you can then subtract from the current date. That'll give you a bunch of milliseconds that can be converted to days, hours, or whatever with some simple math, then pass to the formatter. And that's how you handle relative time formatting in JavaScript. Make sure to like and subscribe to give me the dopamine hits I need to keep these videos coming. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.